Richard. I'm from Oxford, England. Um, I've been fortunate enough to travel extensively around the world. I've lived now in Asia for 25 years and believe I have a good perspective on different cultures. And it's certainly been one of the things that's attracted me to live in a place like Singapore, being a, a multicultural society. IP Global is primarily an investment company that uses real estate as the asset class to help our clients create wealth. Um, we aspire to basically helping our clients build an international property portfolio um, and make it as easy as any other asset class uh, to grow their investment portfolio. Um, we do this basically through an end-to-end -end service. So it starts with our investment team doing extensive due diligence to find properties um, all over the world that are compelling investments. Um, once we have established that, we actually go in to invest in those properties and actually buy over the developments. And then clients who basically wish to add real estate to their investment portfolio would actually buy one or more of those units um, in the developments. And our client services department will literally guide our clients through the complexities of um, acquiring those properties uh, across the globe. Well, I think most people would agree that having diversification in an investment portfolio is always a way to reduce risk rather than having all your eggs in one basket. So certainly uh, I can understand why people may wish to invest in countries that they know. Um, that said though, um, just because one knows that country doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be the best place to have all of your investment portfolio. Um, well, there are many markets, but we have specialised in safe haven markets such as the UK. Uh, cities, particularly in London, we've always had a, a strong foothold in, and in more recent times, some of the northern cities like Birmingham, Liverpool, Manchester and Leeds. Other countries as well that we've uh, definitely uh, found compelling investments are Berlin in Germany and other countries as well, USA and Australia. For uh, a specific Property investment, um, an entry level in one of the northern cities of the UK may be about £150,000. In London, where the price of properties are more expensive, we're talking about £400,000 going up to about £800,000. That said, though, that with financing, that typically um, a deposit of about 35% and the balance would be through mortgage financing. Absolutely. Um, it has been a, obviously a big shock to the whole world when Brexit occurred, but I think through the, uh, the shock um, creates opportunity as well. And one example of that is that the um, Singapore dollar buying power against the pound sterling is much stronger. Um, and so there is opportunity through this uncertainty. When we look at the, um, the economy of the UK, basically the economy is still fundamentally sound. And when we look closer to home at the real estate industry, um, there's still a huge undersupply of property in the UK, and we're very bullish um, for the property market there for many years to come. For savvy investors who've already invested in India and may well have their first property here in Singapore, um, may want to think twice about investing further into Singapore, particularly with the onset of the increased uh, additional buyer stamp duty, which for foreigners can now equate to up to 20% of the purchase price. So for an example, for a 1 million Singapore dollar um, condo, one could easily be um, paying over 200,000 Singapore dollars purely in stamp duty, which could be used to invest in a property in the north of England um, to acquire the property with no additional cash. So in terms of looking at the returns, both in terms of the capital returns and the uh, rental yields, then there are opportunities overseas that I would encourage Indians to look at. We've done some calculations and when we look at um, a typical Singapore um, condominium, over a 10 year period, we calculated approximately 150% ROI. When we were looking at similar properties in the UK, this was up to 248% ROI. So almost 100% uh, increase on your ROI in UK properties. In the UK, we're typically looking at interest rates of between three to 4%. 
in Germany, we were able to get fixed rate 10 year mortgages at 2.9%. So Germany particularly very attractive financing options. But of course, when investing in overseas real estate, getting access to financing is a crucial part of the equation. And so through Liquid Expat Mortgages, our international mortgage brokerage company, we do assist our clients to ensure that they can get financing even before they embark on investing in a property. So as part of IP Global's end-to-end -end service, um, acquiring the property is just part of the acquisition. The ongoing um, management of the property is where some of the longer term challenges lie. Now IP Global has its own property management company called Complete and I'm very proud to say that it has a 98.4% occupancy rate of over 1,600 properties in 13 different countries which basically I hope gives a client the confidence that IP Global is consistently finding properties in areas of high demand, but also that complete the property management company is doing a great job at actually filling and tenanting out the properties as well. Well, it's a small proportion of about 10 to 12%, depending on the city. But I believe this offers great value because at the end of the day, our clients are busy working professionals and really don't have the time necessarily to be managing their own properties, especially as that starts to build up.